we may soon have a clearer idea of just how big this plant-based category could be. McDonald's recently announced details of an operations test of its McPlant plant-based burger, co-created with Beyond Meat. The patty is made from ingredients like peas, rice and potatoes, and is served on a signature sesame seed bun with tomato, lettuce, pickles, onions, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard and a slice of American cheese. As the company states, it has the iconic taste of a McDonald's burger, because it is one. The test will take place in eight restaurants across the U.S. beginning November 3rd. Markets include Irving and Carrollton, Texas, Cedar Falls, Iowa, Jennings and Lake Charles, Louisiana, and El Segundo in Manhattan Beach, California. The announcement comes after the two companies announced a three-year strategic partnership in February 2021 in which Beyond is to serve as McDonald's preferred supplier for the McPlant patty and, potentially, other plant-based items such as chicken, pork and egg. That patty, by the way, isn't new to the McDonald's system. The McPlant has already been introduced in several international markets, including Sweden, Denmark, the Netherlands, Austria and the United Kingdom. It's too early to tell what type of sales impact the product has had, and consumption of plant-based meat varies by market, so forecasting is tricky. What we do know is McDonald's has gained a significant amount of momentum with younger consumers in the U.S. in the past year thanks to its famous orders promotion, featuring megastars like Travis Scott, BTS and Saweetie. Offering up a plant-based alternative could accelerate this momentum. Gen Z and millennial consumers are more likely to eat plant-based meat than their older counterparts, and over half of consumers ages 24 to 39 identify as flexitarian. As such, sales of plant-based dairy and meat alternatives reached $29.4 billion in 2020, and could increase to $162 billion by 20. Plant-based options have already experienced initial success at some of McDonald's quick service peers, including Burger King, Carl's Jr. and KFC. But there have since been reports of weakening sales of Burger King's Impossible Whopper, while KFC's Beyond Chicken has yet to expand past initial tests in early 2020.